subscribe to Spanko's channel. Yes, that's what subscribe. Let me see right now. Subscribe to Spanko. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko, and today we're featuring the great Arnie Kala. Mm -hmm. And so, one of Arnie's favorite decks of all time, Dark World. Um, actually got new support, of course, we all know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Arnie's playing it, and he's super excited. You're playing... I'm, I'm gonna let you say it. You, you take over. Uh, well, first of all, it's actually my favorite deck of all time, first of all. Yeah. Secondly, yeah, it's it's really good. Oh my god. You like it? I love it. All right. Would I, would I say it's the best deck? No. Is it fun? Yes. And so this is like 60 card mm -hmm. uh, danger dark world pile. Yeah. Okay. So let's get right into it then. Right. Oh, by the way, you were telling me before the video started that uh, this is the hand loop build, right? Hand loop. Not the new, I don't play the new Graph of Fusion Monster, no. You're playing the hand loop build? Hand loop. Old school, well, somewhat old school hand loop. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get right into it. All right. Start off, we play three Ceruli. Yep. And I'll just put this here for a second. Three Silva. So this is the hardest, this is the reason why the hand loop exists. Yep. So brief, brief thing. In case you guys don't know what Cerulee does, is it discarded by a card effect by anybody? You can summon this to your opponent's field, and when it's there, it has a second ability that his opponent, not not the person who has it now, but me specifically, has to discard a card. Yep. Not random, just I choose. And uh, you would mostly discard this. And when what this does when it's discarded by your opponent's card effect, it summons itself. That's one thing it does, no matter who does it. But the other ability, when it's discarded by your opponent. You summon this, and you also put your opponent puts two cards from their hand to the bottom of their deck. So because this is going to your opponent, yeah. this counts as being, being discarded caught. by your opponent. Correct. And this is also a very skillful card because it blocks like stuff like Imperm or like uh, Gamma and all those type of stuff. Yep. Yeah. That's, and, once, and once you make a board, even if your opponent yeah. randomly has stuff like Evenly, yeah, like evenly, they have that card on the yeah, field. That's, yeah, but you're gonna rip out the card by that time. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and then yeah, that's that's it for him. For that's why the handle exists. And then for these cards, you play three snows. Yep. Three brow. So snow is the search of the deck, and brow is the draw power. But when it's discarded by your opponent's card effect, you search. Also, you summon a monster from your opponent's graveyard in defense position. Yep. Any monster, obviously, if it's long, it's not link, of course. Yeah. And then this one is just pot of green when you use po discard by your opponent, draw two. But when it's discarded by you, draw one. Draw one. Okay, yeah. That's it. And yeah. And the fact that I like this deck, that I'm willing to put high rarity in this, because I never do that. Yeah, yeah. Rare you I love this. This is your favorite deck. Yeah. Rarely. If I could get all T's, I can get all. Oh, I wish I could. You will? I would. Soon, soon. Soon. Already. One day, one, one day. day. And then the other Dark World monsters. These are weird ones. Two Ganty. Two of the new one and two Grapha. So these two, this one is the the new searcher for gates. So you discard the card and you add gates of the dark world from deck to hand. That part is soft once per turn, which is pretty it's nuts. So crazy. And then the other ability, which is hard once per turn, unfortunately, that when it's banished, while you control another dark world card, you can summon from the banish pile. So yep. you use gates, banish this, discard a fiend, draw a card, trigger whatever. Fiend you add you discard and this a good thing you can chain block so yeah so like if there's one ash no sorry you can't ash no because i have this and then this one the new card insane yep so what this does when it's discarded by anybody by me or anybody i can add a level five or higher in level five or higher dark world monster from my deck to their hand except for another copy of it yep and it's if it's discarded by you by my opponent I can add, I can do also add level five or higher. Also, summon a level four or lower dark world monster from my deck to either player's field. So, oh, so, yeah, Cerulli. so yeah, you can give Cerulli if you can do it yourself. Yep. Sometimes, and it kind of helps because you add Rat Silva, then you summon Cerulli, and then boop. Yeah, loop two. Loop two, and then Grafa. No, Graf. Well, Grafa is a uh, another. He's like your second Silva if you don't. So what this does, other than the popping, so what is this card by you, by me or anybody? Just destroy a card on the field, not once per turn, and also, and also when it's this card by your opponent, I can randomly pick a card from your hand. If it's a monster, um, I get to summon to my field. Okay. So it's a little mini handle. You rarely would do that, but yeah. it's still it's still there. 
Oh yeah, and I should mention one thing about about Rainbow. I forgot to mention that if you control level seven a higher intro, uh, not intro, um, Dark Road monster, uh, you can compulse. You can compulse that monster back to your hand to summon this. Okay. And you can also use Grapha to compulse this back. So you have you plus two. Yep. You know, other words. And that's it for Dark World monsters. And and the non-engine cards. Uh, I play only three cards, which is Chaos Dragon Levenir, Zephyros, and Blue Boy. Of course. So Blue Boy draw power, and you don't really have a normal summon in this deck, no, right? No, not really. So. Well, you, um, Unfortunately, this, the flaw with this deck, sometimes it's luck that depends. Sometimes you may have no choice but to summon summon somebody. Is that for us? Yeah, but this is a good yeah. normal summon. Yeah. yeah, this is what you want to dedicate. If you don't want to, and let's say you draw, well, I play, spoiler alert, I play Knowledge and Secrets. Yeah. So if you if you draw Secrets and Knowledge, and you, and you, act, and you activate Secrets, add this, normal, add the other Secrets, use Knowledge, send the Secrets from your hand, and draw two, so you save a body, yep. basically, for Sayuja, spoiler alert. Yep. All right. And then Chaos Dragon Levenir helps with the hand loop. Of course. If Graphic can do it. Because with Silva, you can only put exactly two. This will help get rid of the fifth card. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Zephyros, like, compulses like some, yes, compulse some of your monsters or cards, like gates, so you can use it again. Yep. Or dangers, you can do it again. So yeah. So that's it for the the monsters for Dark World and and the extra extra stuff. And then here are the dangers. There's the dangers. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the dangers. Level eight, three, 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 three. So level eight monsters, they're they're there for draw power. No, pop face yeah. up, pop face down, send a danger card from your deck to grave. Yep. This is actually very skillful because. You can actually send a card called Danger Response Team, which I'll explain a little bit later. Yep. Or another Dark Monster, another Danger Monster, because you also play, uh, spoiler alert, beginning of the end. So, like, it kind of helps. It helps you, you draw cards. Help help, you get no, it helps you get, get there faster. Yeah. I, so, yeah. That's why I say it's a very skillful, a very deceptively skillful card. That's true. And then for the other level sevens, Three Nessie, of course, and three Dogman. Yep. So Nessie, self-explanatory. Dogman is there for draw power. He's also another deceptive card. True. He's he's part of the worst one going first, but going second, he's insane. Lose your opponent lose a thousand attack. All of them non-targeting. Pretty good. Yeah. I find. So, and there's some text I want to try with with Dark World that I can since I have level sevens I can make. Arsenal Falcon to get Zephyrus faster. Not okay. that it's mandatory, but it's a it's a play. It's a play. Okay. And then the other dangers: three Mothman, three Chupacabra, one. So one you're, just, you're yeah. maxing out on all the dangers. All the dangers. If so, these were at three, so three of everything. Obviously not three. Yeah. This. If I had three, I would play three. Yeah. Yeah. Because you need to draw. Yeah, period. Okay. And I guess they're also like, mm -hmm. well, I guess you wouldn't use that, but you can use them for a lure, or, again, yeah. like dark beginning alert, of the end, yeah. like you said. Yeah, alert. Yeah, because if I'm playing alert, Dogman's usually the first one I'm pitching. Yeah, if I'm up. And then Chupacabra, I should briefly explain, helps with gates because it's a fiend. Yeah, that's fair. And oh, triggers true. stuff. Yeah, and triggers other, it triggers like the ability to summon from grave. Yep. Helps, helps him get bodies. And that's it for the monsters. Okay. For the magic cards. Yes, I do say magic cards. Yeah, he doesn't say sue spells. Me. Sue me. Yeah, he says magic always. Yeah. I'm old school like that. So I play two gates, one dark world deal, dark world dealing. Yep. So gates is like insane. Insane. What can I say? Yeah. And then the reason why I play two because it's like sometimes you don't have setup already, and plus Zephyrus can put this back. So you instantly play three technically. Yeah. And then Dark World Dealings, I play one because unfortunately, tears a deck. And you don't want to really do this. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, include with Mothman. That's why, like, when you go up against tears, you always side on Mothman, period. But you keep the other ones. You keep everybody else. Okay. Yeah, because it kind of helps them too. Hardy, one question here. What's up? With these ratios. Would you ever consider playing three gates and none of this? Or what do you think of that? Three gates... And, like, no Dark World Dealings. Or do you think the one Dark World is another just... It's option for you um three gates mm, yeah it's probably an option the dark world dealings i'll say it, 
because sometimes you don't have plays. This is like your only place. Okay, sometimes. that's fair. That's sometimes. Fair. So yeah, three gates of a fire might consider, and this maybe. Maybe okay. Yeah, and then other draw power cards, like I said to earlier, secrets and knowledge. Of course, draw power, insane. More draw power, three alert. Yep. What can I say? Funny thing is, if you have a dark road monster and you and you banish this while well, banish Ganta, you trigger it for no reason. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, that's orgasm right there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and then danger response team, the yep. card I told you with. So this is the card you want to dump. Well, you could dump it, but also it's good in your hand because what this does when in your hand, you can compose a danger monster and any monster on the field back to the opponent's hand. Okay. So that's pretty good when sometimes you brick or sometimes you want to break boards. And then you trigger the other ability that you can discard a danger monster, put this in the bottom of your deck and draw a card. Okay. So That's it, a graveyard effect? It does a graveyard, but you can both do both abilities per turn. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yep. And then more draw power, two trade in, two beginning of the end. One pot of avarice and one card destruction. So you're just trying to rip through rip, your deck as yeah, fast as rip, possible. Rip, rip, and then this one. What can I say? Yeah, the card's great. Great, great. This helps you shuffle back cards, so like pretty good to keep extending if you sometimes run out of gas. Yeah, okay. And then card destruction. Unfortunately, it's a good and e it's a good and evil deck card because it's like tears are thing. Tears are tears a deck. But, but against any other deck, it's, it's still pretty good. Yeah pretty much that's fair and then that's it for the main deck so 60 cards 60 cards all right let's get into the extra deck here. extra deck link twos uh the one link two i uh, just thought well, play more yeah. um security dragon so so what this helps when you make so you you make Sayuja and you make two other monsters under Sayuja and then you compulsively you're securely back to your hand so you can do it again oh okay yeah or any monster when you go in second yep and that's that's what I like about it. And then you play dangers. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, nightmares, nightmares. 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 Yeah, yeah, I was I was gonna say yeah, nightmares. Uh, sorry. You just then climb into these going second. Yeah, going second and, and also going first because if you give your opponent Cerulee, you can destroy. You can use this to destroy the Cerulee. Draw a card if it's yep. calling. This one you never use going second. This one you can shuffle back your gates yep. and draw a card, or shuffle back any card, draw a card. Night Griffin, I might even take out because I don't really use it, honestly. But it's just there for draw power, but I rarely that's use fair. it. That's fair. Yeah. And it's then, also a fun gate if you put it in your main monster zone, right? That's but true. It doesn't happen too often, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't really hap happen that often. Okay. And then Link Force, I play two Soyuja and one Appaloosa. Makes sense. So, Soyuja draw power, not once per turn, of summons monsters from your hand, pretty broken. Hey. And then this. It's one of your things that you end on when you hand loop your opponent for five. So you hand loop your opponent, even if you don't go for five, sometimes you can go for like four, four, four that's a, and then end on Apo. So yeah, they're playing with one three, card essentially. Yeah, yeah, well, two cards. Two cards when they draw, yeah. Yeah, three, yes, end of a three, four negates, but that's that's one of your negates that you're gonna have. Okay. And and then go, and then your other link five, two underworld goddess to break boards. Yep. And so, surprisingly enough, if you're going against tier and they make mud dragon, it's actually very hard for you because you can't target a lot of your things. A oh, lot of fair. Things. So you have to try to link away the mud dragon as much as you can. So you use the dangers, get dangers. them on the board as yeah. fast as possible. Or in dark worlds that I hit them. Yep. And then the fact that I can, this is somewhat of a negate too. Why yeah. not? And, That's fair. And then another draw power card, Dugaris. And. Coach King Drying Trainer. I heard you went into this for game the other day. Yes. Broken. Draw three times per turn and burn? Why not? And then this, draw power? Sure. And then you make a little law level eight, so why not? Yep. And then your your three other negates. Hope Harbinger, Zombie Stein, and then and then this thing. So you're ending on these with your like uh, Bigfoot, your Thunderbirds, Bigfoot, yeah. your Well, Rainbows. mostly this is the, I mostly will end with, what's it called? I'll usually will end with these three because that's usually more than enough. You'll end on like a board like this? Yeah. And sometimes like, and sometimes I only make this because it's like, if I, if your opponent has one card, because unfortunately this is the weakest one because it negates the first thing 
some of the activates. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Could you play stuff like Dengirsu and stuff when you're forced to go second? I could. I can re simply replace one of the un Underworlds for that. That's fair. Um, for, yeah. Or the or the Griffin. But probably more Griffin than Underworld. Okay. Honestly. Well, thank you, Arnie, for the deck profile. No problem. Uh, do you want to say anything before we sign off? Yeah. Shout outs, shout outs to shout outs to my boy Peter who actually there's a card in the in the Dark World type called Pearl which I used to play. It's trash. So yeah, you shouldn't play Pearl. Pearl, don't play Pearl. Any of you that and shout outs to let me see. Konami for giving me giving me giving dark, you dark world support. Stuff? All right, thank you, Arnie. I appreciate you. Cool and also, profile. And also, subscribe to Spanko's channel. Yes, that's what... Subscribe! Let me see right now. Subscribe to Spanko. And Arnie, Dark World World Champion right here. Dark World Ambassador right here. Yeah, let's go, Arnie. All right, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, thank you, Arnie, again. And with that, Spanko, out. Peace. Peace.